Hello, this is Dr. Prasad Pratilam, Module 3 of uh, BBOK 407, Biology for Engineers under Vishesha Technological University. Okay, so uh, this is a new uh, module, uh, Module 3, more applied field, Human Organ System and Bio Designs. Uh, this is mainly for electronics, mechanical and civil uh, stream. For computer science stream, separate video class I will be taking. A slight uh, modification I, I need to do. Okay, so this is only for uh, uh, other than computer science stream that will be easy to say. Okay, we'll move on to the topic. Uh, this is the syllabus brain as CPU system, which include all these things, and that is the difference between uh, CS uh, syllabus and uh, EC syllabus. Uh, CS and other CSC syllabus uh, for uh, electronics scheme, mechanical stream, and uh, this stream. Little bit more oriented towards the electronics characters, electronic components of the syllabus is mentioned. Whereas computer science, it is somewhat related to the how yeah, computer science students need to tackle the biology terms. Okay, now I as I am a camera, heart as pump system, lung as purification system. So these are the topic um, which is there with a detailed uh, uh, kidney as uh, okay. So here I need to give one. This one. So that is not possible. Okay, now you can see. So this is uh, the syllabus. Uh, this is the course outcome shown here. Students need to read it at, at least once. At least you should know before studying the notes. Your students should uh, study course outcome first. They should have uh, heart it at least. So please do subscribe. Okay, so your subscription is the that is the only. Uh, strength that I have and your support. Please share the video to other uh of who are studying uh, the same subject my youtube channel is my intuition 4865 please watch my videos in only in this youtube channel my intuition 4865 okay question number one brain as cpu system how would you implement a brain machine interface to control a robotic arm for prosthesis considering the architecture of cns and signal transmission so combining the the topic given for the uh, CPU, uh, C, C, what it is, C architecture, CNS, peripheral nervous system, signal transmission, EEG, robotic arm for prosthetic injury solution for Parkinson's disease. So, that is the question framed. Uh, that is answer scheme. It is connected to course outcome 2 with a revised Brooks taxonomy level of 3. It carries 10 marks. Answer scheme, it is mentioned here. Uh, understanding the CNS architecture 2 marks, signal transmission mechanism 3 marks, BMI implementation 5 marks. So, mainly the electronics students or in mechanical engineering students can understand it uh, well. Okay, so this is not to draw as such, only you make, to make you to understand where is the name cerebrum means what that is, this is the cerebrum part of our uh, uh, brain, cerebellum. So this is the cerebellum part and there is a stem, stem means of the base where it connected to the brain and there is a spinal cord, a long uh, line behind also, that is the spinal cord. So this is the component of a, of a central nervous system, CNS, central nervous system and its architecture it is mentioned here. Now the functions of each component if you want to sell, understanding the CNS architecture. So uh, the each component, cerebrum has got the front lobe. Uh, parietal lobe, occipital lobe, lobe, temporal lobe, like that names. Okay, cerebellum is there. So what I need to do? I need to zoom in uh, the uh, uh, image. Okay, so this is the best way to understand. Front lobe. It is mainly used for the consciousness, frontal association area, speech. Uh, all these mentioned. Okay, very good. I, I need to give credit to this. Okay, I'll give uh, later. I'll find it and give credit. I need to give the credit because it is not mine. Now the other function like the temp uh, temporal lobe, it uh, mainly for the speech recognition. The brain stem, it is the basic vital functions. Uh, example, breathing and all, it is controlled in that. It has also has got uh, midbrain, pons as well as medulla. Three parts are there. Cerebellum, it is mainly used for uh, movement coordination. Vision, it is uh, occipital lobe and uh, parietal uh, lobe that is movement and uh, stimulus perception okay so you need to connect to the main topic front lobe what is the main uh, role 
parietal lobe what is the main role like that main one one example if you write that is will be very good appreciable to give two marks okay so cerebrum uh, cerebellum is the brain stem is the mid brain pons medulla oblongata everything i mentioned in this image so very good image i obtained a lot of search uh, research not search actually google search i got this image the one image represents all the uh, functions of each component so okay anyhow that you, you need to by heart only there is no other option it is like that this is like this that much no much explanation uh, connecting that now functions of each component cerebrum responsible for conscious thought voluntary movement frontal lobe decision making problem solving and uh, planning uh, uh process uh, uh sensory info information like touch temperature temperature and pain uh, responsive for visual processing uh, handle auditory information and uh, uh, memory okay so detailed one is also given here for uh, you to so that the image was only a little bit a little bit detailed uh, given in this particular slide okay now i am sharing this slide uh, okay go through it no much explanation needed for that to make you understand so straight away application where it is applicable that is you need to say signal transmission mechanism how this different uh, parts of our uh, brain anyhow we understood uh, or you need to by heart uh, or you need at least uh, recall uh, the different parts and the different uh, roles functions of that uh, and how it can be applied further further say electronics related uh, mechanical electronics those connection not the coding as such components connection okay so how it can be connected that also i got a very good uh, image uh, supporting uh, to explain uh, not to show that uh, to make you people understand so i'll zoom it where is it not in each okay let me more okay i think you can see clearly not able to see okay arranging things is difficult okay not able to see then i'll put it no. i'll put it more there it will more there then also it is going out then i'll zoom out okay now we can see the eeg machine you know how this eeg as such it will connect the our different parts of our uh, brain uh, it connect it will collect the signal signal acquisition signal acquisition signal acquisition and uh, it is common word for uh, electronics stream student then uh, further it goes for decoding and creating the algorithm for that and it, that algorithm uh, dec after decoding create algorithm it will uh, connected to the device uh, electronic devices to make it to move so what we our brain uh, tells to our hand to move same thing uh, through the external circuit connection uh, we can make the prosthesis to work okay that is the main intention of that i think i understood so uh, data from uh, from brain is taken it is decoded data it is sending for a command feedback is taken and further uh, improvement is done okay so that is about uh, uh, the mechanism which i am going to explain so i'll put it back it was here okay now the details uh, you it's running okay so now the details uh, neural signal transmission action potential the electrical impulses along uh, the neurons axon it is taken Sy uh, synaptic transmission a communication between the neurons via the neurotransmitters is called a synaptic transmission role of sensors different processors and actuators in um, bmi what is bmi brain machine interface bmi is brain machine interface uh, different sensors like eeg is a sensor eco g is another sensor intracorporeal implants are also a different type of uh, sensors which are made to get the uh, impulse from the brain different parts of brain okay what is the role measures brain electrical activity ecg electrode on brain surface for uh, detailed reading uh, intracorporeal implants uh, the tiny electrodes implanted in brain tissue okay so then processes signal processing algorithms are required machine learning models can be used actuators uh, robotic arm mechanism needed Uh, feedback system is also needed so this is about uh, three marks this one you can explain now you understood how it is connected now it is electronics students can easily uh, connected to their uh, uh, knowledge so you can build the knowledge gap 
so actually i got one more image to support i think i will search and uh, i today morning only i downloaded it i forgot to add it to this slide suddenly I remembered that it can be connected there okay so where it is now we are on uh, bbok407 bbok407 uh, i am searching in my system yeah i got it okay so where is my pt where i am here before thank you anyhow thank you i will add one more uh, term here this and all i will delete uh, to make you to understand it yes exactly this is how one of the very famous uh, example which is given okay example is also not given okay what is this first time it happened with me but in front of you only have to correct the mistake What happening? Why it is not coming? So this is the one I prepared notes. Which I am giving you. Okay. Yes, it's coming. Okay, this much big not working. Make it less. Not that much. This is okay. Okay, so the BMI implementation for five marks uh, that was missing. Uh, okay, now the sensor placement, the non-invasive EEG, okay, that also needed. Uh, so BMI implementation of five marks. Okay, leave it. I will arrange before uh, giving uh, the notes. I will rearrange it. Uh, okay, so sensor placement, non-invasive EEG caps on the scalp, uh, invasive. Uh, ECOG. So we need to plan it. Uh, signal acquisition. Uh, collect the neural signal related to the intent uh, and uh, movement. Signal processing, noise reduction, uh, signal amplification, pattern recognition are the connected terms. Uh, control algorithm development. Translate neuron commands into arm movement. Uh, prosthetic integration. Connect the control system to the robotic arm. Practical examples are many. Which example is DEKA? Okay, I was searching this one and I forgot to add that point slide to this uh, video presentation okay slide it is added i will connect i will make it proper the editing work i will do okay now what is the ek arm system that i am uh, explaining in the next slide so this is one of the very interesting one which i got uh, for uh, the uh, application part you can see that uh, details also i am adding here Where is that? Okay, it got added here. Color, yes. Size, go, 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 big. Mm. Okay, these are all the magic that I need to do to prepare a slide. Yes, yes, sit. Okay. Okay, so you can see, so this is a figure which represents uh, the uh, mind-controlled prosthetic called the DEKA arm, which can detect up to 10 movements and uh, and is the same size and weight as a natural human, uh, human arm. Okay, so compared to other prosthesis, it is observed that uh, more than uh, 10 movements it can detect and it can work. So this is one of the very good uh, improvement in the technology connecting the biology to to the the engineering part okay, on the biology part biological biotechnology so it is actually pure biology connected to the uh, engineering part uh, every uh, require movement everything that is controlled by brain and the hand the prosthetic uh, the artificial hand uh, it is working accordingly so that's about uh, that's about the answer to the question 
what was the question now? Which I found that uh, how would you implement a brain machine interface to control a robotic arm for prosthesis? So finally, we reached to that uh, robotic arm prosthesis. So that's uh, uh, hope only thing is that I took uh, some two three minutes extra to add that two slides. Anyhow, you are uh, patient hearing your patient patients. Don't uh, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share this video to others. Thank you very much.